This video is called Moving, Scaling, Rotating, Shearing, and Distorting Your Texture, and it's from Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, this is kind of a continuation of the previous video, which was called Adding Photos to Faces. Uh, what we've already done is mapped a photograph of this building to this face on this very simple little box that I actually have here in SketchUp. And what I want to do is kind of do something with this texture now that it's on there. Maybe I want to rotate it, maybe I want to shear it, or any of the other options that are kind of implied in the, uh, the title of this video. Move it, rotate it, all that stuff. Okay, here's what you do. You're going to click on the texture with the Select tool to select it. It's right there on the face, that's all I have selected. And you're going to go up to Edit, and where am I going? Face and then I'm gonna go to texture and I'm gonna go to position but here you know what uh, even though I, I actually say in the book that this is the right way to do this it's kind of a, a pain to go up to the menu every single time you have to do this so here's what I recommend doing instead of going up to the menu just right click on the face whose texture you wanna edit and you'll get a shortcut right click on that go to texture and position and when you do that what you end up with is this so what I'm doing is orbiting by just clicking down on my scroll wheel here to orbit around the the kind of user interface part of the texture tweaker goes away but um, as soon as I kinda release all my mouse buttons and shift key and everything I get them back again so what you'll have here is um, four pins this is a red pin is a, a move pin the green pin is a scale rotate pin the yellow pin is a um, distort pin and the blue pin is for moving as well wait a minute what's red if blue is move red is uh, also move. So it, it would appear that they're actually both move. I, I would say that's a little confusing. But let's try them all and see what they do. Okay, before we do that, what I want to show you is one more thing. I'm going to right click on this image again, and you'll see that I'm in fixed pin mode. Now, fixed pin mode means that my pins are all different colors like that. If I unselect fixed pin mode, you'll see that my pins turn yellow. And we're going to cover what happens uh, when your pins are yellow. Um, in the next video. But for now, what I'd like to make sure is that we're in fixed pin mode. So I'm going to have that selected, and you'll see all four colors there. Let's try the pins. If I grab this blue pin, start moving it around, you'll see that what's actually happening is it's kind of shearing this, right? It's kind of moving this stuff back and forth. Now, you probably don't want to do that when you're dealing with a building, but maybe you're doing a label or something, a package design that you've done. Who knows? That might be useful for you. Let's undo that step. Oops. Let's redo another step. I'm going to go to Texture, Position. Let's try the yellow pin. I'm going to go back to the yellow pin. When I use the yellow pin, you'll see that what I'm actually doing is distorting the entire texture because I'm able to drag that corner so I can make the building really tall and skinny or kind of short and fat or do whatever I want. But basically, when I'm dragging this around, I'm distorting the texture. Let's go over to the green one. And when I move the green pin, what I'm doing is actually rotating the texture right here on the face. And I'm actually also scaling it while I rotate it. Now, this probably isn't that useful for uh, a texture like a building. But if you have a texture um, like a wood grain or maybe even a brick or something like that that you're trying to influence, the rotate scale uh, pin I find to be the most useful for doing things like that. And then really simply, the red pin is for moving um, your texture around. So as you kind of grab it and move it, let's say that I wanted to position um, the corner of this building exactly on the corner of this cube. So what I would do is maybe zoom in just so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to pick up this pin to pick it up. And then I just basically, instead of clicking and dragging on it, I click on it to pick it up. And I maybe put that in the corner, and then I'll just drag this whole thing so it's down there in the corner of my box like that. So now what I've done is I've used that pin to actually reposition my texture um, very precisely. What I can also do with this just big white glove hand or whatever is move the texture around as well. And that seems to do the same thing that this red pin does. But that's basically it for this video called Moving, Scaling, Rotating, Shearing, and Distorting Your Texture for Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.